It's not good news, but your doctor thinks it's all right that I tell you because partially I've got no choice. What? You know your Aunt Bessie down in Florida? Well, she's got leukemia, and I guess she's not doing too well, and there's a possibility she might die. Who? Your Aunt Bessie. I didn't know I had an Aunt Bessie. Sure you did. She's my sister. She lives down in Florida. This is the first I've heard of her. She's been to the house. When? Right after your dad and I got married. <laughs> I wasn't born yet. Okay. I guess you weren't. Well, I, I know I've mentioned her. She's my sister. I didn't know you had a sister. You know how at Christmas I always say, looks like Bessie didn't send a card this year either. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's your Aunt Bessie. <laughs> Who does he think the nurse is in the other room? Well, I pretend not to notice her. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Well, if she comes in the room while I'm there, I just pretend she's not real. <laughs> she doesn't exist. Th then what does Dad think? Oh, I think he thinks he's hallucinating. <laughs> what? I never told him he was hallucinating. He came up with that himself. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I was gonna try and tell him you were in the hospital. And she walked in before I was ready, so I didn't. I, I just pretended she wasn't there. You have to tell him. Well, he's used to it now. <laughs> Only time it seems to bother him is when she carries him to the bath. <laughs> And I say, oh, look, Marvin, you're flying. I get my degree next quarter. You should be proud of that. I already had one freelance job doing hair for a TV commercial. It was just local, but guess how much they paid for one day? I don't feel like guessing. Guess. $300. That's right. $300. Why did you guess that? It just popped into my head. Most people would have guessed lower. $300 is a lot of money. It's a lot for one day. I feel like my life is finally starting. Who would take care of them here? Doctors! Did you see? They have a pool. There is a mirror ball in the cafeteria for disco night. This is a nice place. It even smells nice. Do you want a candy? No. Oh. I should take them all. Serve her right, she's kept us waiting so long. I could give them to the boys. Don't steal them, she'll notice they're gone. She's not gonna accuse us, she'd be too embarrassed. Lee! Relax, or she'll think you took them. Put them back! I can't, they're all rolling around in my purse. Did you know my dad? I uh, met him once, doesn't your mom talk about him much? I know he had a motorcycle. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, I know your mom was nuts about him. Did you meet him at the wedding? No, it, it was when I knew I was going to be down here with Dad and Ruth for longer than I thought. So I went back home to sell off the rest of my stuff. They have you over for dinner or something? No, I just kind of stopped by. I was curious to see who this guy was who was taking up absolutely all of your mom's time. It wasn't much of a visit. He was asleep on the couch. Lee didn't want to wake him. She had just mopped the kitchen floor, so we stood in the hallway and talked for a while. He was still asleep when I left. How'd he seem? Seemed nice enough. 